as we wonder why, why we didn't try. This time. Hey, we are recording. Duh. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's hump day. Hope you're humping. It is 6.13 p.m. It is 80 degrees. Clouds are looming. It may actually rain for the first time this week, but probably not. No, probably it will. It will probably rain from the moment Kim and I leave the house until we're inside the club, and then it'll stop raining. And then it'll start raining again when we leave the club and come home, and then it'll stop raining as soon as we're in the house. That's my weather prediction for tonight. We can see... Get to see Pink Mink tonight. Very exciting. There's some other groups too, but Pink Mink's the only one. Well, I wouldn't mind seeing Seahorse too, but Pink Mink. Get that Pink Mink album if you haven't already. Uh-oh, I got a page. Let's find out what it said. It says here that Kim is reading NBA tweets and retweeting them. Kim never retweets me. Maybe for my birthday, Kim will retweet me. My birthday is tomorrow. I'm turning 41. Yep, yeah, I'm old, people. So today, this is my shirt. You can't tell. It's really frayed along the edges because it's incredibly old, like me. Actually, it's coming apart. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Anyway, this is from the Faded Glory Collection from Walmart, which means I probably bought it. 12 years ago, 13 years ago, when they had really yellow shirts. The light balance is messed up, isn't it? This is yellow, it's not white. It was back when I was buying shirts that were like my size instead of like six sizes too big. Although back then this probably was four sizes too big and I just, I just grew up or out. But the reason I'm wearing it is with a day to spare I went and renewed my driver's license. This is my third Minnesota driver's license. And how can I show this so it won't show any revealing information? Interesting. So let's see. Here's my 2004 driver's license. They actually had a formula. That formula right there, it was not private at all. If you knew the guy's name, those numbers correspond to letters in my name. So like you could get anybody, you could come up with anybody in Minnesota's driver's license number just by knowing their name. So they changed it of course. So here's my 2008 driver's license. Now I didn't realize this at the time. I'm wearing the same shirt. Can you believe that? It's this shirt. So the other thing is I, I always tack 10 pounds onto my weight each time I do it. So I don't know if my weight has actually caught up to my real weight or even passed it, but I'm just going to keep adding 10 pounds until uh, I go on that diet and lose 50 pounds and start weighing myself again. So I went and found this shirt for the third license in a row. So my 04 license, my 08 license, which expires tomorrow. I hate this part though. They always they cut off the corner. Now I don't think anybody's going to I think I'm trying to pull one off and when I show my license with a corner cut off. But if they don't let me into that show tonight, a 40-year-old man, 41 by the time the show's over, nah, they'll let me in. They like people who actually pay for beer and stuff, so. That was my big thing to do. I was going to do it yesterday, and I ran out of time getting ready. I don't know why I went to all the trouble to get ready. But I mean, the hair, the hair looks good. But... I take bad license photos, but they're so small, it doesn't really matter. So, like, I took my photo, and it was awful, and she said, you know, I go to the Roseville license office, which is really nice. They always have lots of people and not very long lines, and it's, you know, for a DMV, it's almost downright pleasant. I guess it helps that they're all kind of quintessentially Minnesotan there and stuff, but... So they let you look at your pictures like you want to do another one. I was like, nah, I really can't do better if I tried, so let's just go ahead with that one. So I, I took my glasses off again, and it was just kind of, you know, big old poofy cheeks and 
because they have strange lighting because they want to get the color of your eyes and they want you to stare at a certain spot so when my license comes I'm sure I'll show it to you no, I'll probably forget I'll show it to you the day before it expires though like I did the last one how's that for a deal all I want for my birthday is for you to get some celebrity to tweet happy birthday to me can you do that it'll really help my cloud score if you do that people who have the same birthday as I do my favorite topic of course it starts and ends with Prince born June 7th 1958 I was born June 7th 1971 so if you need to get credit in my name you now know my birthday uh, Mick Foley famous wrestler June 7th birthday Here's where I go to Wikipedia to see if uh, it's actually listed. And then I can tell you how old he is because I always forget. He's older than me, though, right? I hope so. Mick Foley, June 7, 1965. So uh, that's uh, 47. Prince will be 54. Prince is 13 years older than me. Prince is always 15 years older than me, so he'll be 54. For his 50th birthday, VH1 Classic, or VH1 Soul, had this really awesome block for a few hours of Prince and Prince-related stuff. I still have my VHS tape of all of the Prince uh, associates that they play videos for. So there are videos from The Time, and from Jill Jones, and Vanity, and they even played the family video, which was awesome. And so it's really great that I had this stuff on VHS because I can't really play it anymore. And I haven't bothered to digitize it. Idle thought. Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls' birthday is June 7. I didn't even know who he was till all those uh, right guard ads. Born the same day as me, June 7, 1971. Terrell Buckley. Who knew? I didn't know. Also Alex X. Mooney, who I don't know which probably reveals that I'm white and he's not. And if I'm wrong, I apologize for my racism. Uh, who else was born on June 7? I always want to bring up... Who is it? Is it Anna Kornikova, I'm pretty sure? Is she on this list? Yeah, there she is. Born 10 years after me. So she's an ancient 31. It's easy to see why she stopped playing tennis. You can't play tennis at 31. Of course, don't tell that to the French Open guy. Anybody else? Who died on my birthday? Bill France Sr., that's sad. Zazu Pitts, that's what's sad. Zazu Pitts, whatever. Jim McKay died on my birthday. John Tenta died on my birthday. Wow, I don't remember that at all. Earthquake died June 7, 2006. He was 42 or 43. Life and death, baby. And I think uh, I'm done talking about my matters of life and death for now. Everybody hydrate. I went to Taco Bell. Why am I so thirsty? Oh. Anyhow, thank you for sticking around. And like I said, all I want for my birthday is uh, greetings from a celebrity. Feeling that, greetings from you would be just as nice. You can tweet me. You can do a Facebook wall thing. You can leave a message on the W. Uh, you can email me. I do have email. Remember the email? All that stuff, ways to contact me and interact with me on the internet. CRZ.net is your key. But you knew that already. You also know that I'm CRZ. My name is Christopher Robin Zerman, but you can call me CRZ. It's a lot shorter. And it's a lot easier to type. <coughs> Thank you very much. This is the end of my week. I have tomorrow and Friday off from work, so I will not be doing a video, but I will be back Monday. Uh, God willing. And if the creek don't rise. I love you. I will see you next week. Uh, I do plan on being here, so why don't you make that plan as well? All right. See ya.